Hello there, crypto compatriots. You are watching episode 58 of The Daily Decrypt. I am your faithful host, Amanda. Today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange. The Alpha Stage blockchain based library, aptly named Library, has today released a demonstration video of their software on Windows. The user is seen retrieving a file BitTorrent style, in this case a copy of It's a Wonderful Life, but is reaching streaming speeds in a decentralized way. Alpha Stage clients can be installed by all those comfortable with using the command line. Elephant is a platform for financial instruments recently launched on Ethereum. It hopes to offer things like crypto equity tokens, crowdfunding, and smart contracts, similar to BitShares, NXT, and Counterparty. Since the Elephant application became available on the web and Android within the last week, the number of transactions on the Ethereum network has tripled. The Lightning Network is a Bitcoin protocol layer that's expected to be added to the core reference client within the coming year. It's a hotly debated development, getting both strong for and against arguments coming in from various Bitcoin personalities. For examples of such, check out the pro essay by Adam Back and the con essay by Chris Pacia in the description. NXT has recently integrated three major upgrades to their platform, which are coin shuffling, account control, and the core media asset. Coin shuffling is a protocol layer which will enable laundering or mixing of coins for privacy. Account control functions similar to multi-signature transactions in that the release of funds must be voted upon based on policies. And the core media asset is a crypto equity token that represents shares in NXT's newest self-marketing effort at coremedia.info. The ever-eccentric Bitcoin Rush has made this new video explaining more. Sponsored shout out from BitHala, BitHala, which is a centralized mobile app which abstracts away the need to exchange payment addresses with people you'd like to send Bitcoin to and from. We've just created our profile name in BitHala, aptly named The Daily Decrypt, and you can prove it to yourself by downloading BitHala and sending any amount of Bitcoin to The Daily Decrypt. No payment addresses needed. As a happy Christmas promo, BitHala will be giving $1 to every person who downloads their app between now and midnight on Christmas. The Post Snowden Cryptography Conference recently wrapped up in Brussels. Featured speakers included the likes of Jacob Applebaum, Phil Zimmerman, and Joanna Rutkowska. Lectures from the conference, covering everything from cutting-edge operating systems to end-to-end -end encryption to Tor, have just been released, and the link is included in the description. And hap hap happy news. The Daily Decrypt's budget proposal to Dash's masternodes has received the minimum number of votes required to be funded. This means that in January 2016, Dash's blockchain will automatically pay the Daily Decrypt's Dash address for sponsorship, with no human interaction required. We'd like to say thank you to Dash's masternodes who've decided to do business with us, and we hope you find the venture to be profitable. Today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange, which upon launch will be reputation-based, and keys held by arbiters will live on the BNC blockchain. Learn more at bcexchange.org. We are independent members of the LTB network. Check out our podcast there. And today's magic word is felicity. See you later, guys. Merry Christmas Eve. You keep playing.